Hello, ladies and gents. This is Jazabel, and we're about to tour another of the Retreats of the Rulers competition homes. Um, this one is the Secret Apartment by Huni, or, or Honey, I guess. Um, this is on the leaderboards uh, under Massive Homes in the Ever Near Enclave in Kinos. So let's get zoned in and see what this looks like. It already has a very nice preview image. So. <laughs> and in true Jazabel style, I now have something in my eye, so this will be interesting because <laughs> I can only see out of one eye at the moment. Okay. So this is the start. Oh, wow, that's some rather high ping. Um, so just waiting for the game to either crash or or lag like mad. Okay, so this is welcome to Queen Amory's secret apartment. So this is a Queen Amory house. Oh. I was going to try to fly, but um, this character cannot fly. So, let's run around. Very nice. Nice job with the fountain. And it looks like, ooh, I like the ground here. Oh, I'm trying to zone out, but my mouth wheel is uh, slightly broken. So... <laughs> Come on, zone out, zone out, zone out, zone out, nope, nope, come on, come on, nope, it's not working. All right, well then we'll just zone in. I feel very tiny in here, it's definitely, uh... oh, I see a rainbow. Very good choice on the other near enclave for Queen Emery, I do have to say, because extremely, I mean, it is it is other near, but at the same time, it's very uh, fey dark. So, which makes sense, because this is the island of, well, it's not called the island of growth in the other near. I don't remember what it's called, but it's the one that Roshi is taking care of. Oh, that is really cute. That is really nice. Pause while I <laughs> tab over to my other account because I suddenly heard somebody trading me stuff. That was unexpected. I need to hide myself better when I'm... <laughs> okay, it's, it's, for, it's for the retreat of the rulers, but... that I wasn't expecting to suddenly be traded something while standing AFK in Freeport, so. So I'm going to go hide myself in a little corner so that if anybody else, well, nobody else should run into me. Okay, so yeah, you can't see what I was doing on the other screen. That's fine. So, very nice job with this table here. I like that. Let's move on. And oh, I didn't mention it before, but I also like the path, the stone path. Very nice job with that. Oh, and the flower, the roses floating in the water. That's really cute. The, uh, not the roses, the skimmers. That's really cute. Okay. I mean, there are roses attached to the skimmers, but I meant the skimmers, not roses. So this is very nice. It's, um, Nico Zero's, one of the Nico Zero villas that are on the marketplace. And the vines really add to 
Come on, let me see what they are, what they're called. Nope, too far away. What about this one? Nope, still too far away. What about right here? There we go. The Zavisloa trailing vines. That's what I thought they were, but I've never actually seen them anywhere but in my storage dungeon. So nice work with those. They they give a, a very old, established building feel to this. So let's go inside. And she built her own staircase. This is cute. The um, the kitchen is is um, made with things that really match the Kellison look. And her own refrigerator. Very nice. Oh, look. It's Queen Amory, and she says to us, what a nice day to relax. Now the nice thing about Queen Amory is that she's a she she doesn't have such a unique appearance that people can't imitate it with the house actors. With Queen Antonia, we've seen a lot of characters, uh, a lot of house actors with with the Antonia um, mask on their heads. And while I applaud the decorators for going through the the effort of doing that, it I, I've always found that mask creepy. So, so very nice job on Queen Emery. Let's go upstairs. See what's up here. I know there's a teleporter down there, but I want to skip it for now. Cute fireplace. Very cute. This is kind of a sitting room slash office. Nice work. Very pink ceiling. Matches the walls. Matches the plants, too, I have to say. Um, so this is pink throughout. There's the pink rugs, the pink furniture, the pink ceiling, the pink vase. Nice job. What is this one? Lost <laughs> Love. I have been very bad about the holidays recently. Usually I, I'm, I consider myself very knowledgeable on the, the items in EverQuest 2, but the most recent editions I haven't really been uh, keeping track of. So Nice. I, I have to say again, nice work on the staircase. It works. It flows very nicely. Oh, so the teleport pad actually takes you up to the bedroom. Because the bedroom, there must not have been room for a, a staircase from downstairs up here. So I like how she changed the um, mind blank on what this is called. Not the pedestal table. The washstand. Why could I not remember? I like how she changed the washstand into a Kellison washstand with the addition of just a few items. Good work with that. Ooh, a seashell tub. How cute. Nice job. Very nice. And a towel, a hanging towel here. Toilet with a flower push button for flushing. That's really cute. And I, you know, the first time I ever saw a coffee cup used as toilet paper was in one of the other Retreats of the Rulers houses. And here it is again. I, I am just so jealous of people who, who thought of that because it is the perfect roll of toilet paper. So I'm going to have to start using that in my house. Oh, a custom-built bed. This is really nice. 
So she used these heart, these long heart stools to create a bed, and it's just, it's awesome because it looks like a pink comforter. Very, very nice job. The vanity. That's not Queen Emery in the mirror. Once again, that's my ogre. So they, she's, she's used the crate here and the, the white marble, which really matches the, the uh, various details in the villa. So that's, that's good. Nice little chair here and some weapon displays up on the walls. Excellent job. Okay, so we have. Let's see, we'll go back down to the kitchen. And let's take a look around outside. See what there is to see. So we saw this already. So, oh, there's a bridge over there. Um, do we get to go over there? Yes, we do. There's a, do I have a mount? I really kind of feel like I should have a mount. Uh, I do have a mount, but it's a one item only claim, and I'd really rather not do that on a throwaway character. So, let's see, do we have any run speed items instead? Like the, nope, I don't have the journeyman's cloak or anything like that. Oh wait, the ring, the ring, the ring, the travel, travel pack, claim. Yes, okay. So this isn't a lot of speed increase, but this is, should help just a little bit. Now I'm running at 70% speed and I don't feel like I'm crawling anymore. So let's go down this way and over to the bridge here. And this bridge lets us take this bridge over here, which doesn't appear to have anything. Well, let's see. Is it this thing that we take to to get to that island? No, 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 we don't want to do that. It's over here. So, although it doesn't look like there's actually anything on that island, so going to visit it isn't any good. But this is the backyard. So we'll follow this bridge back. And I think that I missed some stuff along the way to the house. So let's wander around here. I thought there was a split in the path when I took the one towards the house. Or was it just, no, no, it wasn't a split in the path. It was just the area around, going around the fountain here, which is very, very pretty. So I'm guessing that because of the fog and all of the oaks, we are not, oh, look, there's the door hidden right there, the guild hall door. So I'm guessing we're not actually supposed to go past there because it isn't uh, all that decorated. Just they just have it just has some, a few trees and things and the mushrooms. Fay drakes. I always love the fay drakes. And because we were so far away, the house is taking a little bit to load back up again. Nice job. Very nice job. And once again, I go to vote and I can't because this is a free account. So we, I will just say um, thank you for participating in the Retreat of the Rulers decorating competition, honey. And the best of luck to you uh, in the competition. Very nicely done.